In the meantime, some of our neighbors are living in dangerous and filthy conditions inside of DC public housing units, and these are just some of the conditions we uncovered back in May and a federal audit confirmed earlier this month. Now the DC Council passed emergency legislation calling on more training and oversight of the DC Housing Authority. Delia Gonzalez tells us DC Housing Leadership is calling this bill an overreach. It's been just over one week since a scathing federal audit cited system-wide failures at the D.C. Housing Authority, putting residents at risk, including uninformed leadership, the highest vacancy rates in the country, long waiting lists, and poor living conditions. Now the D.C. Council unanimously approves emergency legislation demanding more oversight. We need to address this with urgency and we need to start at the top. Council member at large Alyssa Silverman spearheaded the proposal and the entire council signed on to the measure that calls for consumer protection clarification, transparency reports on properties, finances and operations and training requirements for the board and executive director all due by December 1st. When the council votes to give $50 million to the Housing Authority to address its capital needs, we need to hear that they used it for what we appropriated it for, to stop the rat infestations and mold. Horrible living conditions. WUSA 9 first showed you back in May when we visited Potomac Gardens on Capitol Hill. WUSA 9 obtained this email DC Housing Executive Director Brenda Donald sent to council members expressing her disappointment. Donald goes on to write, quote, without even discussing the overreach of this legislation, given the normal oversight of an independent agency, this reactive and overly burdensome emergency legislation assumes that all the findings from the HUD report are accurate and final. Really, what we need is good leadership. Donald, who was brought in to fix the agency, says she now has the team in place to fix the problems. The agency has 60 days to respond to HUD. And in the last hour, a spokesperson tells us going forward, we welcome a collaborative conversation and are available to meet with any and all council members to share our action steps. Delia Gonsalves, W USA 9. And it appears the executive director will have to make these changes without her deputy. We just learned Victor Martinez resigned. His last day happened to be the day the HUD audit was released. We're told the agency will not fill that position.